Hi everyone, I'm Amy from Nutritix and I'm here to talk you through the key changes of this month's live push. We've made a lot of changes this month. Make sure you take a look at our change log to see them in full action. There are a couple changes to our menus. Firstly, we've improved allergen filtering. Customers or patients can now choose to exclude items that may contain an allergen. This means that when they're applying an allergen filter, they can see items that only have a contains allergen on them. Don't worry, this setting will default to on, meaning results will automatically exclude items with a contains or a may contains of the selected allergen. Sticking with menus, there's a new setting for menu display. This one will mostly apply to those using our patient ordering system. You can now choose to show therapeutic meals as standard on your menus. So these are special items tagged with a group in Nutritics such as renal or diabetic. When it's toggled off, patients won't see any therapeutic meals unless they filter for it or it's attached to their client profile from Nutritics. This will streamline the ordering process. You can only see meals that are appropriate to the patient. The big one this month is our new allergen warning system. We'll now show a warning message on recipes if you use any ingredients from an incomplete data source. Some of our data sources do not contain allergen information and you can see this from settings, data sources, but if an item is used from one of these databases, you'll now see this warning message in a recipe. This is here to prompt you to review the allergen information of that recipe. Click review to see our new allergen overlay and revise the allergens per ingredient. Recipes can no longer be used for printing labels or on menus until these allergens are reviewed and verified. We've made this change in an effort to improve transparency around the quality of allergen data in Nutritics. Next up, there's a really useful change in our batch export. We've made it much more efficient to export data on sub recipes. You can now choose whether to export quantities as per exact quantity used in the parent recipe or per serving of that sub recipe. For those using tank heights, you can now hide food print in menu filters, but still show the food print badge per item. You can also view categories attached to imported items and make your own local categories via customization categories for later analysis and filtering. There's a new menu element functionality for user selection lists where you can create reusable lists for items that you regularly use on your menus. And finally, explore the new list view in print menu layouts, allowing you to export menus in a concise, easy to view format. That's all from me today, but be sure to check out our change log for more updates.